No, you you did mention this is before we started recording. You did mention that it's pretty common for everyone to commit if they're gonna play at the next level in college to commit relatively early. So being on Vars as a freshman, and you mentioned that you committed to your college Seton Hall in your sophomore year. So that means that that freshman year really, really was crucial for you to get good film, get all of the skills and the experience that you need so that you could commit that early. Talk a yeah. little bit about that. Like, how is it different with the players that you know and that you've been around? Is it really common to commit that early, like as a sophomore? I do think when you're on the mainland, it is um, a lot more common to commit early. I think sophomore year is still pretty early to commit, but junior year is usually the year that you're going to um, verbally commit. I think that when you're in the mainland and especially in California, you just, you're seen a lot more because there's so many tournaments, whether it's high school or club, that coaches are coming from everywhere. Um, I know my coaches from college, they actually saw me in a Las Vegas tournament, which um, I went to every single year since I was probably 12, 13 years old, we would always go to the, the Las Vegas classic and that's where they ended up seeing me. So it is, it's a lot harder in Hawaii because you're only going to the mainland a couple times for some tournaments. Whereas California, you know, your coaches are flying in almost every week and they come and recruit and scout players. That is definitely really different here. I mean, there's a lot more reliance on film, video, highlights. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they do try to give that ex exposure with a couple times a year going to these big tournaments for these Hawaii girls. So now you got, you know, this exposure. How did you get in touch with the Seton Hall coaches? Was it purely through the tournament and then it just built from there? Or was this something that you were, you showed interest in that school? And what was the journey like? They had contacted my coaches and said that they were interested. And uh, there's a couple other schools. Most of them were actually on the East Coast that were interested. So my dad and I ended up making a trip out and visiting all those colleges. Um, I really just got along with the coaches there. Um, it's a very small school. There's only 10,000 people, which is, or 10,000 students. And that's, pretty small for for a college and it's mostly a commuter school which means athletes are really the only ones that are on campus or or are living there I yeah I did do we went to Fairfield Rutgers Columbia Seton Hall all in that one weekend and I I just liked again the coaches the girls what they what they stood for and I the personalities that was a big a big reason for me as well. I felt like I got along really well with the coaches and with the girls, which is something that not a lot of people, not a lot of people can say about, about either. So uh, we came back, we talked a lot, my dad or my parents and I talked, sat down, talked a lot. And I actually remember I was driving back, my dad and I drove to club practice and that's when we made the call to commit, which was pretty exciting. The recruiting journey is exciting for anybody that's going to play at the next level. And I'm glad that it went so smoothly. And, you know, you got to really see what the culture, the team, the players were like, because that is a big part, especially if you're going to be there for the next four years. It's huge. Yeah. Did you have any connections? Like, did you know anybody from your area or district or school that played at Seton Hall, even if it was before you? No, nope, I didn't know anyone. So yeah. you were kind of paving your own way. Yes. No coaches or anything that had a connection to your school or high school? Nothing. No. 